Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers And this is PSEI Recap We'll try to review kung ano yung mga nangyari last week And we'll try to check no, kung ano yung mga stocks that we should be watching on our core watch list Right, and uh, before we do that, I have something to share unto you I think quick word from my sponsor This comes from Psalm uh, chapter 127 verse 3 Truly, children are a gift from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Alright? Alam naman natin yan. And hopefully, no, you are able to, to really understand itong verse na to. But uh, recently, no, itong past week, I've been reading something in sa mga news. No? And it pertains sa US, no? specifically sa New York, I think, and Virginia. They're trying to push itong late-term abortion which alam naman natin is very against no sa atin and uh, it does not please God alright and that they, they will try to to repackage this as something good or something beneficial sa mga tao and uh, and I hope that this is a reminder no because we do not know no somewhere along the road baka sa Pilipinas they will push that agenda in yung mga batas na ganyan and uh, mag election and hopefully pilatisin mo yung mga iboboto mo kasi hindi natin alam baka mga ganitong uh, issue pala i-supporter para sila ng ganito right and guys no it's really up to us the believers the Christians to speak up and uh, to stand up no sa mga ganitong uh, bagay specifically di ba uh, this is a big big deal no? abortion to and uh, right now they're trying to normalize this they're trying to repackage this or kung ano ng mga explanation just to make it look good just to make it normal no sa mga tao and I want you guys no na to not fall onto this trap and to this thinking and guys uh please no as, as i always tell you you always have to read the word you have to read the bible and guys no para meron kayong reference point and meron kayong mga dapat no na guide no sa pamumuhay because nakita naman natin no sa US parang uh, sabihin na natin, no? para nagiging patindi ng patindi yung mga batas na pinapasok nila. No? And huwag naman sana mangyari sa atin dito sa Pilipinas, God forbid, yung mga agenda na yan, baka i-push atin. No? And guys, uh, this is a reminder no? na talagang we should be focusing no? and we should be studying the word of God, no? no? Kasi children yan, that is a gift from the Lord. Eh. And, uh, talagang ano, I think, uh, talagang, we're really approaching, no? Yung, yung society kung saan, talagang, kumbaga, something that is evil, no? Pinapalabas nila, no? something beneficial sa tao, or something good. So, guys, want you to, start reading because we do not know baka somewhere along the road hindi natin alam baka pati yung pagbabasa ng Bible is iba na yan o ipagbawal no wag naman sana and uh, please no nakamemorya ka nat medyo naintindihan mo na yung salita right guys uh, i hope and pray no na talagang uh, nakakapagbasa na kayo especially nga doon sa mga Muslim countries no na ating mga OFWs right with that right at this point in time kung ano man yung sasabihin ko sa ating mga watch list or kung ano man yung magiging analyzation ko this is not 100% alright so I will miss and misfire and guys uh, gawin nyo lang to as a reference point, no, as a reviewer, but 
yung pag-execute ng trade, yung uh, pagpili ng mga stocks, nasa sa inyo pa rin yan. No? Because that is your hard-earned money and you don't want to put no? yung inyong uh, hard-earned money without studying or being very careful no? sa ating market. Right? Again, I hope you are able to to survive no? itong last week because uh, after I think for 5 weeks no na dire-diretso yung pagkakyat natin no we finally see no yung PSEI finally taking a hit we lost 74 points and we are now no closing at 8070 points no I think this is a short term profit taking and uh, at this point in time there's nothing much concern pa naman. I think this is a normal thing. But uh, if you've been trading last week, medyo uh, frustrating siya, no? Because uh, halos lahat, if not, madami yung bumaba kesa sa tumaas. Alright? With that, uh, we can see the graph na we're, we're, we're still consolidating, no? Sa 8,000 level. And, di ba, for the last, uh, I think, three weeks no uh, sabi ko we are in a bull mode uh, finally no we're, we're slowing down and we're seeing na yun nga bumaba tayo for the first time no for this 2019 no but uh, for the longer term I think this is still good at least nagko-consolidate siya dun sa 8,000 level wag na lang sana na bumaba pa siya sa 7,9 or 7,8 because baka mawala yung momentum natin Right, with that, ang ating move of the week, no? I think this is on a Friday, ito Makai, which is ceiling, no? 50%. And if you're going to ask me, uh, medyo itong stock na to, with ganyan, no? Ibig sabihin niya, ma mataas yung spreads niya. And you don't want to get caught dito sa, sa stock na to, no? Especially if you don't have the full time para bantayan to eh umiwas ka na lang muna dito because uh, this is a very very volatile stock and mahirap no halos wala nang set up bilang tumaas ng 50% na ganyan right but if you're going to play this intraday at least no you try to minimize no or lessen your position because uh, mabilis mabilis din bumaba yung mga ganitong stock itong makay, no? Wala rin naman siyang stories or mga technical setup na dapat natin makita. And ingat lang, no? Ingat itong mga ganitong socks. Alright. Uh, for the... No? For February, no? I think this is second week. No? Rating natin would be 5. No? I think... For the short term, the market seems to be resting and we stand, stand still, no? So, kumbaga sa ano, nag-aantayan or nag-aabangan, no? Kung sino, who would make the move, especially sa mga big players, or who would step up, tapos saka sila papasok. I think, uh, for the meantime, I think this would be a waiting game, no? until we see yung mga confirmation and yung we see yung mga leaders natin no mga equity leaders natin na mag move no i think this is a waiting game right uh, guys no yung mga ganitong market you, you should be careful and if you are kung pumasok ka no recently sa my stocks and hindi pumabol sa yo medyo kumbaga sa ano tinamaan ka ng tinamaan alright okay lang yan no okay lang yan na uh, you're cutting your losses you're minimizing your risk basta you should be able to understand no that a short term loser will finally be the long term winner no sa katagalan be defensive sa mga ganitong market because uh, mahirap no? mahirap i-trade itong mga ganito no and you have just to understand na you only have to learn this once no or yung mga ganitong methods or yung mga market na ganito and then once you are experienced enough 
you will be able to survive and uh, you stack your learning no basta ano ka lang uh, tiyaga mo lang and you will finally get it no because uh, ganyan din naman ako nung nagumpisa no right uh, with that let's now move on sa ating watch list again I, i'm saying unto you this is not a 100% analysis and uh, you should be you should be only uh, watching this as a reference point or a reviewer no and you should not uh, base your trades sa mga analysis ko because i am also misfiring and marami rin naman tayong uh, mga mali no nagkakatalo-talo na lang talaga sa execution eh, sa mga defensive setup natin no so for our ALI no i think this was all also no on our watch list last week and maganda rin naman yung tinakbo niya and finally no we're seeing at it's currently sitting at support itong uh, 45 uh, the psychological and technical level and for ALI uh We're seeing no, that the price is tightening at this area and that is good. And pwede ka nang uh, mag partial positioning dito sa support na to. At least uh, you buy some shares. If not, uh, wag ka munang mag all in. Or if you're still skeptical, you buy on the breakout talaga. No? Pag may shoot up na yung price na pag ganun. And then yung volume talaga mataas. No? So that is for our our take no sa ELI and let's now move on next on our watch list would be no another giant and that is SMPH again same thing sa ELI it's currently sitting at support tong area na to and you may want to uh, accumulate no or partially buy yung, yung shares Because maganda rin naman na buy point to. Again, same with ALI. Uh, medyo nag, uh, ano, bukod sa it's serial of support, medyo yung price is nagsasubside din doon. Which is good, no? And, kumbaga sa ano, pwede, pwede ka lang pumesto ngayon. And let's try to see, no? Especially if we see yung market. Finally, yung hitting yung mga 8384 level. Uh, wala naman na ibang ano, magdadala dyan kung hindi itong ALI and SMPH. Alright? So, currently with its price na 36, no? I think this is 30, 38.65, I mean. Maganda rin naman na pasukin na yung ALI. At least partially, no? Bumili ka. Next on our watch list would be Alright, uh, FDC, uh, tulad din ang sinabi natin last week, we do not see this uh, breaking out and no, looks like, no, ganun naman talaga yung nangyayari. And for FDC, mukhang uh, it will retest yung support dito sa area na to. No? I think this is 12.30 to 12.50 and be ready no? uh, because once we see reversal, once it is, hits the support, And we see reversal candle. Uh, pwede na natin na uh, bilhin na itong FDC. Again, very, very solid uptrend. You know the story. One of the winners itong ano, uh, FDC. May pinanalong project to. And for, the, for 2018, maganda yung mga reports. And uh, yun na sinabi ko, it, it, it is exhibiting no? yung growth stock. As you see it, uh, technically and fundamentally, may kita mo talaga that this is a growth stock, itong FTC. And yun nga, uh, it's a waiting game. Let's try to check and see if may hit niya itong 12.50 or 12.30 area and pwede tayo makabili no? dito sa FTC and makapwesto. No? Ganda siya. This, uh, parang green din yung setup, eh, no? pero... Let's see, no, kung anong mangyayari and let's try to check and see kung ano yung magiging reaction niya dito sa support area na to. Yeah, next on our watch list would be, sino pa ba, kundi yung green, no? 
for green if we're going to see yung last candle niya it's uh, on a hesitation and with the market being in a standstill i might uh want first no at least no to to buy at least dito sa support area we want to see this uh retest na tong area na to pero kung sakali man sana na rin yung tumataas yung index natin i wouldn't hesitate sana eh, na na bumili sa taas dito but uh, right now with the way the PSEI is uh, currently set up i would rather buy this no sa support area dito etong green dito sa area na to before i finally buy no again for green naman yung kanyang stories would be uh yung investment no meron siyang uh, investor and sa green and uh maganda maganda yung uh, both technical and fundamental nitong green but with the current market nga uh, i just want to buy this at sa support muna no rather than uh, buy this on the breakout because uh, we want to see kung gaano kalakas yung support niya right itong malaking candle na to itong buying pressure na to this coincides din sa news so again we dealing with news kapag uh, sa news inilabas siya and then yung price nag shoot up ng ganito that's good ibig sabihin wala masyadong nakakaalam and nagkagulatan no so with that uh, kahit na medyo malaki na ito na ng green we should still look at this green and consider dito sa ating watch list itong green energy no dahil sa kadahilan ng ganun no but if you see a news disclosure and the stocks went down ibig sabihin noon they are all already anticipating yon and kaya naman sila nagbebenta dahil sa liquidity yung mga newbies naman doon naman sila magbebenta no so i think that's one of the key lessons that you will learn dito sa sa ating presentation and you should take note of that no especially alam ko naman na yung mga tao dito it's mostly position or swing may mga ilan nila na day trading and again marami din naman yung trend following no All right last but not on last but not on the list no etong abacor right remember last uh last last uh, two weeks yata i think i told you nung medyo bumababa to na to buy at 62 and 64 no it eventually retest nung 64 62 64 and i think yung one day pa nga dito bumaba pa to sa 0.59 and maganda no kasi yung closing naman niya nagsi 62 63 siya and eto kasi nagkagulatan no same thing din sa ano sa green energy uh ito naman dividends ang laki ng dividends nitong Abacor and it's finally out yung dividends and the last three candle formation medyo delikado hesitation big big hesitation and pagka ganito naman I just want to take yung partial profit and para mas secure din naman at yung downside ko medyo ma-minimize ko no? so if I were going to execute itong Abacor I will try to to sell no partially itong Abacor and uh, para maprotektahan lang yung aking capital and yung mga profits ko no? and kung ano man yung matitira eh hayin na naman yung pwede kong hayaan kung baka magtuloy-tuloy pa rin yung trend no or sakali na i dire diretso ko siya no again uh, hopefully you're able to to learn something no sa ating uh, slides and hoping no that uh, you might be able to to share or like and comment dito sa ating channel Again, this is PSEI Recap. Maraming maraming salamat sa pananood.